Hey you, I'm celebrity menswear stylist Ashley Weston, joined by my partner and husband, Dorian. Hola. So, Dorian's hair is super long. I'm sure you guys are experiences, experiencing this right now. You know, just with the lockdown and quarantine, there's no access to your barber, so it's time to take matters into our own hands. Now, we reached out to our really good friend, Rachel Burney. Definitely follow her on Instagram. She is an incredible hairstylist and groomer to a ton of celebrities, including some of my clients. And she gave us some directions on how to give a proper haircut just to kind of you know get you by for right now until you can finally make that appointment with your barber worst case scenario she messes up so bad I'm just gonna shave this bad boy so let's go over the things we need water bottle so that you can dampen the hair clippers along with the attachments a rubber band or a clip and then you definitely want a comb and of course scissors Okay, so it's really important to start with clean hair. You don't want any product in it at all, so just clean hair like this. And now I'm gonna dampen it. So Ash, while you're doing that, yep. I have a question for you. What's something you always wanted to do as a child but never got to do? Oh, I never got to do a sleepover. <laughs> what? What about you? I always wanted to bungee jump, but then I got scared of heights when I got older, so that's never gonna happen. <laughs> What you want to do is contain the top part so that it's just out of the way. So I'm using a rubber band that I have on my wrist. And then basically, Dorian parts his hair here. Man, how long his hair is. This is insane. If you were in the Witness Protection Program, what would your new name be and where would you go? Oh! <laughs> okay, so I feel like I'd want my name to be like Elizabeth or L so that someone can call me Elle, and I'd want to live in Hawaii because ever since, ever since <laughs> I saw Blue Crush when I was a kid, I wanted to be Kate Bosworth. I wanted oh to be a God. surfer. So that's where I would live oh instead my. of being born in California. For what about me, you? I don't know what my name would be. Something ridiculous though, like Seymour or like something random. And where I would live, I don't know, somewhere in the Midwest, middle of nowhere. So now you're going to grab your clippers and you wanna use a guard that's one size up from what you normally use. So what guard number does your barber use? I'm a three when I go to the barber. So we're gonna use a guard number four and you're going to start at the nape of the neck, so the bottom of the neck, and you basically wanna go right where your head kinda of starts curving, so pretty much like right here. It's almost like the halfway point. Flat here, go up, and then when you're hitting pretty much right here, you wanna scoop. So it's almost like scooping, like you're flicking your wrist because you don't wanna go like this because it's gonna be really patchy and uneven. All right, Ash. Oh, I'm so scared right now. I'm here so we go. nervous. <laughs> Question for you. Whoa, you're pulling out here. Oh, I am? Whoops. What is the strangest thing you've ever eaten? A lot of Vietnamese people as like a treat, it's like some kind of delicacy, but it's basically like this egg that they boil and it has almost like a little baby Burn Not almost. It it's a baby duck. Um, and you dip it in like this lemon, salt, and pepper mixture. Weirdly enough, I have eaten dog when I visited Vietnam twice. Uh, they told me that it was either going to be goat or dog, and then I spoke to my friends that were living in Saigon at the time and in the north when I had it both places, uh, and they're like, nah, it's dog. For the sides, what you want to do is just pull away the ear so that you don't clip his ear. And basically, I'm just gonna go like this real quick. All right, Ash, next question. If you could get away with any crime, what would it be? I would have to say, like, go to like Neiman Marcus and just You'd take- be a shoplifter. I would just be a shoplifter. I would just form a ton of outfits and just grab everything that I've always wanted that is just like, but I didn't want to spend a ton of money on. For me, I don't know. I'm trying to think of what would be fun and cool. Maybe a counterfeiter? <laughs> I don't know why. I don't have any technical knowledge of it whatsoever. I couldn't draw to save my life, but I think it'd be fun to be a counterfeiter. Okay, so we're technically done in terms of just trimming, and I'm gonna have you turn, Dorian, because I want you guys to see 
Now, Dorian's hair is so, it grew so much that technically, you know, if you were just experiencing a little bit of growth, this should have actually blended in a little bit better with this top part. Anyway, so what we're gonna do actually, instead of stopping here with the four, I'm just gonna take it all the way up because this is just too long. What are two things you would do if you woke up and found yourself completely invisible? Oh. Okay, I think the first thing I would do is go to the Staples Centers while the Kings are playing and just wander around the facilities and just explore um, while a game's happening. Go to the locker room, just kind of like see what people's, like what they do back there. I think that would be one of them. I would probably go visit the White House and just walk around for the day and just <gasps> listen in on conversations, yeah. like what the hell is happening. That's a good one. So now that I've got the number three guard on my clippers, it's time to taper. So you basically, you can start at the side, at the bottom, and you're gonna go up to basically like mid temple. And then when you do the back, start at the nape of the neck and right where his, you see Dorian's head starts to curve up right here. So we pretty much wanna stop right around here. So again, do that flicking motion. Wish me luck. My first taper, <laughs> my first fade. What is the worst job you have ever had? Oh, I haven't had a terrible job. I worked at The Gap and I loved that because I was super shy at the time and it forced me to have to be social. And then I worked at Nordstrom's, so I loved that. And then I was a teacher, a high school math teacher, um, which I really, I really did like, but then I got into styling, so I kind of, I've never had a bad job, luckily. No. But I know you've had a million jobs. The worst one I think I ever had was I did construction in the middle of summer in Texas. Do you uh, see this pale complexion? Yeah, that was horrible. <laughs> now that the sides and back are pretty much done, I've tapered it as best as I can. So it's time to just clean up the edges. So that's gonna be the sideburns right around the ear as, as well as the back of the neck. Like I said, that's like his lowest part. So we're just gonna go like right here. A little at a time, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Okay, I think that's good. I might have accidentally gone a little higher up here, but I'm not gonna correct this because I don't wanna ruin the back. Okay, so time to trim the sides. So pretty much, I mean, Dorian sideburns are already, we trim them with the clippers, so they're good enough. Okay, so we are ready to attack the top. So we're gonna split it into three sections three sections I have. We're gonna concentrate right now on this center section. You're gonna start at the crown of the head, so right here in the back, and you're gonna just take little horizontal sections. So you've got little horizontal sections, and that's what we're gonna trim. And you're just gonna cut it straight across. Not the sharpest scissors, but you gotta use what you have. Okay, Ash, what is the funniest movie you've ever seen? Dumb and Dumber. Dumb and Dumber. That shit was crazy and hilarious, especially when they were mopedding across the country and they were just freezing. I just love Dumb and Dumber. I think it's so funny. I, I actually agree. That is my funniest movie of all time as well. No way. Yes. Huh. Now that we're done here, what we're gonna do is now, we're gonna actually split in your hair back in the center. What you're going to do is, you're going to start again at the back, is going to be where I cut his hair the shortest, which is towards the center, obviously. That was that center. So that's gonna be your guide. That's the shortest the hair is going to be. And you're gonna be cutting straight across. Perfect. Okay, so I've parted Dorian's hair. As you can see, there's still some length right here on the side. So I just wanna kind of blend that in a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is just take little sections, pulling back and then cutting it diagonally a little bit. It's just gonna help blend it, especially because he, this is the direction he combs his hair. So you don't want it to be just a ton of weight here. Which would be harder for you to give up, coffee or alcohol? <sighs> alcohol. I need my glass of wine or my cocktail. 
coffee might be harder to give up. I, I'm not a big drinker anyways, so I couldn't care less. Frankly, I couldn't care less about coffee either. I like coffee, but I don't need it. So for me, either or. We're good. That's it. That is it. We are done. We are done. It's just time to style your hair. You kind of have, it's not quite like your normal haircut. It's more of like a slight undercut <laughs> <laughs> where it's really short on the sides okay. and a lot longer on top. But this is way more manageable now than what it was before, which was just a big floppy Poof. mess. <laughs> yep. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.